Hey guys, it's Violet here, and welcome to episode one of the Blengineers. Today we will be talking about the NSF GRFP Fellowship, how to obtain it, and how to be confident in your application. Coming from yours truly, a recipient of the National Science Foundation Graduate Research Fellowship Award. So what is the NSF um, Fellowship? The National Science Foundation Graduate Research Fellowship Program awards approximately 2,000 fellowships per year to their most competitive applicants. And so what the NSF is looking for is applicants who excel in two categories. One, intellectual merit, and two, broader impacts. And so as you go crafting your NSF application, you always want to keep those two categories in mind because you're, you're going to craft your, your, your package around those two concepts. Going further, um, the NSF fellowship is really no joke for grad students because as a grad student, a lot of times people are worried about where their funding is going to come from if their advisor is having trouble. Um, sometimes a grad student may want to take a creative or a new approach to a certain problem that their advisor may not be willing to um, allow because funds are limited, time is limited, and so they may want to go about a certain problem with a strict approach. One of the many benefits of the NSF fellowship is not only is it a $34,000 or per year stipend for three years, but it also gives you a lot of creative freedom in your research. Um, you have more selectivity in picking your advisors, and basically it puts you in the driving seat of your graduate school experience. So first off, a little bit of personal background about myself. I recently graduated this past May with a bachelor's in chemical engineering, and I will be attending graduate school in the fall and I'll be majoring in macromolecular science and engineering. Um, so for me, when I realized that I wanted to go to grad school, I decided that I should give the NSF fellowship a shot, even though, I, to be honest, I didn't really feel confident that I would get it. Um, but I think that what stood out in my application was the fact that I told a story. And I know that may sound a bit vague or even cliche, because a lot of us when we write essays or when we, we do an application, we tell a story. But um, what I mean by that is I sold myself in that story. I kind of pitched myself to NSF in that story, and I didn't do it by only talking about the traditional things that you mentioned in a, a college essay like um, GPA, your extracurricular activities, um, leadership positions, things like that. I kind of dug really deep inside of myself and, and I actually identified, okay, what is driving me to go to grad school? What is driving me to become a researcher? What drives my learning experience and how does that differ from other people's experiences? What makes me unique, essentially? So let me give a prime example. I was homeschooled for about a little over 50% of my childhood and teenage years, so I was homeschooled in like the first year of high school and then on and off before that. And my homeschooling experience definitely shaped who I am today, um, especially in terms of academics and how I learn. Because one thing that my parents instilled in me was not to just learn material and memorize it, but they taught me how to learn. At a certain point, my brother and sister and I, we would teach ourselves certain subjects such as Algebra 2, Calculus, um, Physics, things like that, because our parents couldn't, um, didn't remember that far back or because they were too busy. Um, and so homeschooling and just being able to be a self-learner was something that I emphasized in my application. Something that I realized that was unique to my story and that could make me stand out. Um, as an applicant and I didn't say and I don't when I say like sell yourself I don't mean like try to find as many like quirky funny things about yourself as possible and then put it in your application but it has to come from the heart like 
the gratitude I have for my parents homeschooling me is really tremendous because I know that it's enabled me to get to where I am today and receive the grades that I have. So once you've identified what makes you stand out, and another word, another phrase I have for it is like, define your brand or build your brand. Yeah, essentially build your brand. So look at your, look at your life holistically. I'm thinking about what sets me apart from the person sitting next to me in my physics classroom. What sets me apart from that guy with a 4.0 GPA? Maybe I have a 3.5 GPA and someone else has a 4.0, but what makes me different from him and or her and what makes me stand out? Like, Because even if I don't have a 4.0 GPA, I can still make solid contributions to science. I still have many strengths that I can emphasize. So once you identify those, you've built your brand and you're ready to move on to the next step. Okay guys, well I know this video has been kind of short, but I will get back to you later on um, next week with um, episode 2 where we're going to be going past taking it in stride and we will be talking about putting it all together. You've built your brand, you've assessed your package, and now you're going to put it all together. And I'm going to get into depth about what that means. So leave your questions and comments below and please subscribe.